In this video, I'd like to talk to you guys about attribute selectors, and it might not be immediately apparent why attribute selectors would be useful, but you'll definitely run into situations um, where they would be useful. I know one time before I was making a game, and the game had a bunch of chips on it, and then some of them had an idea of chip one, chip two, chip three, and things like that. Um, but sometimes I might just want to know um, if one of these squares was a chip. So I could just check um, if that ID started with the word chip. And it didn't matter if it was chip 1 or chip 2. I just wanted to know if it started with chip. And that's one of the things you can do with attribute selectors, um, among other things. So we're not starting off with anything too special here. We have a div with an ID of container, and we have some paragraphs in it. And each of those paragraphs have a class and they also have an ID, and we could have actually added other attributes too, but I'm just gonna use class and ID um, to work on in this video, but just know that attribute selectors would work on any kind of attribute. So I'm just gonna go down to the first line here, and what we're doing is we're selecting P, and then inside the square brackets we have class, and all this is doing is it's going to select all the P's that have a class tag. So if the class tag is an element, no matter what it is, then we are going to apply this text shadow. So I'm just going to right click on the right side and you'll see that all of these ones got a uh, text shadow applied because they all had a class, whereas the last one here it didn't have a class so it wasn't selected. Let's go on to the next example now and in the next example here what we're doing is we're selecting paragraphs and we only want the one that has an ID of para1. So as you can see, like this probably isn't that useful because if we were looking for something by ID, we could just use the hashtag and then para1. But this is just an example here. And just know that you could use this with any kind of attribute if you were looking for a very specific attribute, um, whether it's ID or class or anything else, um, you can use this format right here. So I'm just going to uh, refresh on the right side here and you'll see that it only selected the first one because that's the only one that has an ID of para1. So we can comment this out and go to the next one now. And in the next one, um, it's just a little bit different because we're selecting paragraphs where the ID is not para1. So let's refresh on the right side and it select uh, all these four. So um, let's see what's going on with those other four ones. Some of them don't even have IDs, like this only has a class of breaking news. And the last one doesn't have any attributes but all of them don't have an ID of para1, so they were all selected, whereas the first one does, so we don't select that one. Moving along here in the next one, uh, we're selecting paragraphs where the ID starts with para. So this goes back to the example I was saying in the beginning when I was doing my game and I wanted all of the ones that started with chip, or the, whether it was chip one or chip two or, or chip 60. Um, we just want to get the ones that the ID is starting with para. So if I refresh on the right side, um, we'll just get these first three because their IDs are para1, para2, and para3. Let's move on to the next one here. And in the next example, we're selecting paragraphs where the ID ends with one. So, um, you know, this caret symbol here and the dollar sign symbol, these relate to regular expressions. But basically, um, the dollar sign here means the ID has to end with one. So if we look at our markup here, we'll see that only the first one, para one, um, that ID ends with one. So um, if we refresh on the right side, um, of course, only the first one is going to get that text shadow applied. Uh, let's keep moving on here. And in the next one, we're selecting paragraph where the class contains the word new somewhere in it. So um, this star equals, that means it's just going to look through the class name to see if news is in it. And you'll see in our markup here, we have one that has a class of news and another one that has a class of breaking news. Um, so let's see what happens there. And you'll see that they both are selected because they both have the, the word news um, somewhere within that class. And going on to the last one here, uh, what we're doing here is we're selecting paragraphs where the ID starts with para and where the class has news in it somewhere. So you can do more complicated um, attribute selectors here um, where it needs to meet both conditions. And let's just refresh on the right side. And we've only got the third one going because um, you know quite a few of them start with para, uh, but only one has a class where news is in it somewhere. So you see that that third one, um, the ID is para three and the class is news. So that's the only one that meets both of those conditions. So we apply the text shadow there.